Okay, welcome back to the Murray Cup 2016 Group A, Green Group, the Yellow Fellows versus Fate Attack 786, game two Dyer of two. I back. am General Jeevikus. Uh, yellow Fellows putting up the, uh, the demoralised Yellow Fellows putting up the best performance so far of the tournament for those guys. Uh, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how the bands go. My money is on OG and Invoker, uh, but we'll just have to wait a few seconds to find out whether or not those predictions Five will seconds be true. Remaining. Reserve time. Oh, oh that's all banned Radiant out by the team Yellow Fellows. Do they just uh, OD banned out by Fate Attack 786? Dry band out as well. Radiant team ban. It's gonna ban out the entire team that Fight Attack 786 just played, maybe? Probably a mistake. Uh, we'll let uh, heroes like Spectre and Voker through. And uh, Void gonna Dyer get banned out. Pick. So uh, I want to fuck Cat Girls is not getting to play Void today. Venge picked up Radiant them, team and pick. Evoker, as expected, Radiant picked up team for the mid pick. here, uh, probably going to be for Kingy, they're also going to pick up Lion, Dire um, team pick. that's going to be for probably Alex F, I expect, could be for VNG though. Second pick up then for the Yellow Fellows, interesting to see where they go with uh, this. Uh, would quite like to see maybe an undying pickup for the off lane, maybe a uh, shadow shaman, and uh, there's the Rubik again for uh, I want bang. to fuck fat girls. Um, we'll see. Uh, I mean, I think he did pretty well with the Rubik to be honest, and in combination with the vengeful, vengeful spirit, that's a couple of good stuns there, and uh, could really put pressure on the say, the off lane Ten for Fetty Seven Eight Six, and also allow them to rotate into mid. Uh, Five seconds maybe sit remaining. To secure some kills there. Reserve time. Second set of bands now. Well, second, yeah, second set of bands now for the yellow fellows. Um, wouldn't mind seeing. Uh, Yeah, definitely going to have to focus on their safe lane of Fetty Attack 786, though. Uh, going to ban out the Tiger Radiant Hunter. Team Ban. don't think they enjoyed the Ravage too much in the last game. Um, it does look like they're just going to go ahead and ban out that whole team those guys played. And uh, likewise, Fetty Attack ban. 786. It seems like, despite the fact that I want to fuck Cat Girls, um, stopped, uh, I, I mean, he stopped a lot of his charges, but they're kind of going to take him out there. Um, removing from the off lane. Wouldn't mind seeing I want to fuck Ten cat girls on the bristle back again. If he can just hold his horses until he gets about level five four or level five remaining. before he goes in. Uh we did see uh safe lane bristle back being played Reserve earlier time. today. Um really quite effectively. I mean the team did lose in the end. But uh yeah, young Jedi was able to put up quite a decent performance with the uh, with the bristle back. And did show that you know if he gets a bit of farm and a few levels, he can actually uh, he can actually be a very dangerous hero even in this meta. And that was against the uh, that was against the radiant Omni team ban guardian angel juggernaut though getting banned out. So no safe lane juggernaut for fatty attack seven eight six. We'll have to see what else these guys can pick up. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Fourth ban then for Fetty Attack 786. Uh, will we see another target ban? Oh, they're going to ban out the Undying, so that's Radiant key because it's picked pick. right out the window. Um, maybe we can see uh, it's going to have to be cores now uh, for the Yellow Fellows. Treant Protector then picked up Dyer for team Alex, pick. I expect. Um, or it could be VNG, these two guys, I don't really know uh, what their picks will be, but I mean, those that seems fairly reasonable, I think. Um, Q 
curious to see what Kingy can do with an invoker if it is going to be him on the invoker. Um, obviously, invoker quite a strong hero even with ten the seconds Rusa's remaining. Of the shot wave. And certainly going to be a problem for the yellow fellows. Although they do have the stuns Five seconds on both remaining. Kulik and Venj, and depending on the heroes that they pick up, uh, might not be too much of a problem. Reserve time. Zeus picked up for the mid for OCC. Radiant team pick. Zeus versus Invoker in mid. Uh, obviously, with the arc lightning spam, you can uh, kind of deal with Invoker at uh, a little bit of range, but obviously, both of them with the Ion Cannon able to hit you anywhere. 10 on the map. seconds remaining. 2M Protector also offering a global heal. Perfect attack 786, remaining. and the damage block is real on that hero. Um, yeah. Reserve oh my time. god, it's 7 instances and a block of 80 damage. That's, uh, that's decent. Ursa, Ursa picked up for Dyer Fetty Attack 786. We're going to need to see some slows on the yellow fellows here if they want to keep things in the game. I'll also allow Ursa to uh, get a Roche off quite early uh, with the damage block and the heal. He can probably get away with some sneakiness there. Now we have seen Triant Protector uh, played with an uh, amazing amount of skill. Earlier in the tournament, Ten some seconds remaining. Um, like just absolutely beautiful saves with the invisibility. Five um, seconds remaining. You know, an underrated um, skill that the uh, Nature's guys uh, was a lot of really good saves with it previously in the tournament, and uh, we'll see whether or not Fetty Attack Seven Eight Six are able to do the same in this game. Still looking for the safe lane farmer for the yellow fellows. Um, they do have invoker on Fetty Attack 786, so an illusion hero, maybe not the greatest idea. I quite still quite like uh, Chaos Knight as a pickup here though. Um, obviously uh, against Lion and Ursa. Ten seconds uh, remaining. The damage, the burst damage, can be seriously Clinks. decent. Uh, Clinks picked up though. I wonder if that'll be Radiant safe team lane Clinks, or whether or not he'll go mid with that. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Final ban then for Fetty Attack 786. Phantom Lancer are going to get taken out Dire of the pool. Team ban. Bit of a strange ban, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, I suppose Clinks could be played on the offlane as well. Um, offlane heroes all a bit banned out. There's another offlane potentially. Radiant uh, team out. pick. They're not going to be looking for a... Well, they're going to be looking for an offlane on both teams at this point, actually. I think Clinks could offlane, Zeus could offlane, but unlikely in both cases. Ten seconds remaining. So final pick for Fetty Attack. Five 76. seconds remaining. It's gonna be an off lane slarder. Dire team pick. Um Yeah, I mean I guess they could stack the jungle a little bit for Ursa, but it does look like Ursa will be in the safe lane. And uh, there's the brood pickup. That's a great pickup. Obviously Slarder kind of already slightly countering it with the uh, with the damage amp you know, detecting them out, but you won't get that to level 6 and hopefully I want to fuck cat girls in the offlane, going to be able to get some work done there. Let's have a look then and see how the, hero the heroes unfold OCC on the Zeus Prepare I want to battle. fuck fat girls on the Rubik once again, our bears on the safe lane clinks, I want to fuck cat girls in the offlane and someone on the vengeful spirit there and Super Fire Mix State Volume 4 picks up the Slardar for the offlane no surprise there, Kingy finally gets his invoker Mama said, knock you out. Gonna go on the Ursa and knock some bitches out. Uh, F Alex, yep, as predicted, on the tree and protector there. And VNG 
on the uh, VNG on the uh, lion there. So let's just have a quick look at the items that were picked up. There is a smoke on I want to fuck fat girls. Uh, it's not being used yet. No smoke for... Uh, that's going to be a solo ring, yeah. No smoke for uh, Fetty Attack. Uh, FWAP. 30 uh, seconds to battle. They are going to maybe try and contest this top rune, though. And we do actually have um, the yellow fellas here with the smoke. This could be interesting. We may be able to actually find something with the smoke this time. And uh, we'll have to wait and see. Armor Bear's already been spotted out, though. And... Uh, Kingy gonna have a little go at it, but oh, F Alex going on the high ground and he's gonna find all four of them there. Uh, Kingy as well, uh, they're all on the top of the spot begins. here. It's a bit of a waste of smoke, they weren't able to wrap round to the back. Wow, it's it gonna get rune. Uh, I want to fuck cat girls on the broodmother, gonna pick up the bottom rune there. So, Invoker with the early advantage, um, I think there'll be a slightly better creep block. He's not even trying to creep block. Slightly better creep block by OCC, but he has kind of fluffed it a little bit there. Uh, it will still work out better for him, though, in fact. Um, that's pretty decent. This creep will die fairly quickly. Invoker will manage to get the last hit, though. Um, so let's have a little look and see uh, the last hits, etc. Uh, we'll have a quick look around as well. Uh, Broodmother then down in the bottom lane. Uh, I want to fuck cat girls. Um, just going to try and get some farm here with the, uh, with the Broodmother. And top lane, it's going to be Solo Slardar versus I Want to Fuck Fat Girls, uh, someone, and Armor Bez on the Quinks. Hopefully, Armor Bez able to pick up the farm this time round, and uh, these two guys able to zone out the Slardar effectively. Zeus then ahead on last hits. Uh, the Chain Lightning, obviously, he's going to want to scale uh, a 1, uh, a 2 1 2, no, a 2 0 1 build um, on the. Uh, on the Zeus there, he is going to pick up his bottle really quickly there, that's great for him, and he's going to block the creep as well here, OCC obviously showing once again he can uh, mid competently um, uh, yeah, that's you know, decently controlled the lane there, although it is now back in Kingy's favour, last hits wise though, very much in the favour of uh, Zeus, uh, the tri-lane bottom, facilitating uh, Mama said knock you out uh, on the Ursa there Keeping him in the farm game, another level picked up though by I Want to Fuck Cat Girls, allowing him to get his next set of webs in there. Um, does have four webs available now, and that'll allow him hopefully to be able to control this bottom. Uh, allow him to control the bottom wave there, and he's pulled the camp there as well. Just didn't have the greatest pull though. He didn't actually stack it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's. I'm pretty sure that's what he was trying to do. Uh, didn't really work out there though. Oh, and Sentry Ward's already from uh, F. Alex there. Going to cause I Want to Fuck Cat Girls a few problems. He's going to need to get some wards of his own or risk getting caught out. And oh dear, already uh, get VNG is here. There is the, uh, the dust as well on I Want to Fuck Cat Girls. He's going to be just slightly fast enough to get away this time. But obviously, if uh, Lion has gotten the hex onto him there. Or the stun, um, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. He's going to have to think about this. Maybe actually drop a web on the hard camp up top here. And, uh, and farm that up uh, in the meantime. Try and get some levels. Maybe not worry too much just yet. Until he has a few levels by going in against that Ursa. Well, things going fairly evenly though for OCC in the mid. Able to have picked up 15 last hits with the Arc Lightning spam there on the Zeus. Um, uh, Kingy now pulling the creep back behind the tower though, and that will give him a slight advantage as far as uh, as far as creep kill is concerned. But now the lane is going to shift back over, and OCC is going to have the advantage once more. So ring finished for I want to fuck cat girls, and here comes some wards as well. Going to allow him to deward a little bit, but these guys. I've got the dust as well, or they did have dust as well, so I mean that's going to cause him a few issues. Still one on the dust on the uh, line of uh, VNG. Uh, there is a double stack here, they are going to use it to uh, pull the creep wave back at top and hopefully zone Slarder out. Slarder looking to pull this wave, but that pull is too early. Uh, he does pull it into his own wave though, which will be decent as well. Um, so yeah, although it was too early uh, to double stack the camp, perfectly timed to uh, to take the wave over. 
to the side here and deny the XP to uh, Clinks Clinks though. Not actually, just farm the uh, farm the creep camp here up, finish up the farm. Here. If Alex picks up the, invo uh, the invoker rune, uh, the invisibility rune, and uh, that's going to be really dangerous for I want to fuck cat girls. He's going to need to be careful. In fact, he's going to actually rotate to mid with it. I don't want to watch both lanes here at the moment. Uh, there's a kill though for Good Mother. Um, I want to fuck cat girls. Taking first blood on the Broodmother there. Invoker though returns with the uh, FNG, uh, with Alex even in the there. there. And uh, Zeus goes down. I think Dyer's middle the, tower uh, is under attack. And I think he must have used the. God damn, man, it's so difficult to uh, select heroes. The leech seed there, level one, with a heal from uh, the uh, the treant protector, making invoker really difficult to damage them. Obviously, as well, when they are pushing towers here, Dyer's um, middle tower yellow is fellow's under gonna attack. have to um, gonna have to fully push the tower, gonna have to fully commit to it, and stop the treant protector from uh, healing up. I want to fuck cat girls then. It's gonna pop a soul ring and uh, get some uh, get some broodlings on the go here. The wave back in his favor. He's gonna be able to pick up some much more needed farm here. And he, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he did pick up early boots. Um, not always an early pick up on. I want to fuck cat girls, but with the uh, Ursa around, maybe something that you do want to consider picking up. He has got phase boots. He will be able to chase you down on your outside of the web there. The fag fat girls is also in attendance here on the uh, on the Rubik. Um, have a little look here. The rune will spawn shortly. We'll see what it is. See whether or not he decides to move from that. So it's a bounty rune. He's going to pick that up. Uh, Zeus though, with the arcane rune, if he goes top here and picks that up, that's a great pickup for Zeus, especially now Radiance that bottom level tower six. is under attack. He can feel safe in throwing out his ult and uh, having it being. Cast really I and really Another kill for I want to fuck cat girls in the off lane there against the tree ant protector. Beautifully done. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think we found the hero that I want to fuck cat girls likes to play. And uh, he plays it well. He plays it well. Super fire mixtape volume four in a little bit of a bad position. Oh, Radiance is bottom tower is here. under attack. Be better if he came in from this side here though. And, uh, tried to get him. Here we go. A little bit of spam and boom! Down goes super fire mixtape uh, volume four. Slardar goes down. Radiant Arcane rune is activated, so we can see an alt from uh, OCC. Uh, I want to uh, fuck fuck girls in the mid here, soaking up that XP while OC is away. Uh, keeping uh, keeping the lane warm Radiance for him, so to speak. I want to fuck, 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 fuck cat girls bottom though. Tower Takes the fallen. bottom tower, and uh, yeah, we we're actually seeing a little bit of life from the yellow fellows here. Mama said, "Knock you out." We can push some more farm here. Uh, no more mid mask yet, so not able to quite attempt that rush yet. Although I think maybe he could do the rush with. Uh, with the damage block there, but we do have a rotation of three heroes to the top here. DNG, Super Fire, Mixtape, Volume 4, and uh, King Radiance uh, Bottom Alex Tower all is under here. attack. Uh, there is a sentry ward from the Dyer there, so they will be able to spot out any sneaky business by the tree. And Amorbet is gonna have to be careful here, he's gonna get stunned up a little bit. Here comes uh, Slardar, there's the ult. Zeus manages to pick off the Ursa in the jungle with the ult. On a 4-1 for the yellow fellows here. There's a rotation from Kingy though. They're going to have Radiance to be careful. I want to fuck fat girls. Could be a little bit of a problem. Amber Bez pops the uh, invis. But he's going to get caught out by uh, the invoker's um, spam. Radiance middle tower the ward, is under attack. Them a bit of problems, allowing them to come back into the game there. That's unfortunate for the yellow Radiance fellows. bottom tower is under attack. But they might get attack. something out of it. Like a save. I want to fuck cat girls in the bottom lane here. He's going to go ahead and take out the tier 2 there. And uh, yeah, I mean, they've rotated a lot Radiance up here for, uh, to top fallen. by Fate Attack 786. They're going to have to TP back the Slardar to try and deal with this uh, with this brood attack here. Ooh, quite a good counter, obviously. You can just do the Slytherin Crush and uh, pick up a bit of farm there. Boom. Yep, uh, we'll get some gold there. Thanks very much for the gold. I want to fuck cat girls. And uh, OCC picking up the Invis Rune. He's going to try for something a little bit sneaky himself. Invoker, uh, no, it's Mama said knock you out. Actually, has moved into the uh, 
has moved into the mid there and he's gonna get pincered by I want to fuck fat girls on OCC. Someone's here as well now and there's gonna be a bit of spam. Uh, har the Harl not quite long enough. Uh, F Alex does throw the heel on to um, I, uh, Mama said knock you out. Uh, 285 hit points, so we're not quite low enough for the Zeus out. I think Zeus might still try and throw the L in here. Uh, there would be a mistake though. And look at this trail of webs from uh, from Beamler along this bottom lane here. By Zeus! If he can catch out F Alex here. Slardar taken out by the ult from Not Zeus. So fast. And uh, gonna be quite happy with that. Gonna be quite happy with the way things are going at the moment for the yellow fellows. Um, yeah. I mean, the comeback is Radiance really top tower And I don't is mean the comeback attack. in this game, I mean the comeback in the tournament. I want to fuck cat girls all over this broodmother. It's certainly making a statement with this hero. Great to see him actually able to get something done in the off lane and uh, loving his broodmother play. Not sure why we've not seen it up until now. A little bit of dark horsery here. Quotation from Vape Card Kingy, but he's actually really low. He's gonna have to be careful. I want to fuck Cat Girls in a pretty strong position here at the moment. Um, I can't click the bloody hero though because you know all these fucking broodlings and a stupid bug. Radiance uh, Middle Tower. Yeah, is join under me attack. after the break. <laughs> we'll find out what items the uh, items that he has there. He has got the um, uh, wow, that was a huge amount of items on the crew gear coming in the way of I want to fuck Cat Girls. Um, he does have his boots finished now. It looks like an early Yules for Radiance OCC Middle Tower on is under the, attack. Uh, on the Zeus. I'm gonna push this tower now. Gonna have to be careful for a rotation from uh, Fetty Attack 786 though. Still no, um, still no um, Roshan for Fetty Attack 786. What sort of prize is this? Wow, it's like a sixth sense for OCC. Radiance Middle Tower is under that attack. We are going to be coming for him. F Alex dangerously close there. Uh, we could have pulled him up onto the uh, onto the high ground there. No blink dagger yet for Super Fire Mixtape Volume 4. And uh, yeah, a disappointing start for him. Radiance Top Tower is under I attack. Fuck girl's just going to happily farm away in the jungle here. Vladimir's offering as well, the recipe on I want to Boom! Zeus takes out Queen Protector in the mid here. He's gonna have to be careful. Slarder is there and there is gonna be an EMP from Kingy, but it's not gonna find anyone. And uh, another kill going the way of Radiant's the top tower is under What's attack. see then on one of his preferred heroes, I expect. Hammerbet is looking to push top lane here, and that tower is gonna go down in one hit. Radiant's top days. tower has fallen. So yeah, pretty much the uh, reverse of the previous game with uh, the yellow fellows in a commanding position as far as towers are concerned at the moment. A four thousand gold, um, a four thousand gold, uh, four thousand XP uh, lead, and a six thousand gold lead. Well played, guys. Broodmother just uh, dominating this dire jungle as well. It's just gonna farm up. Thanks very much. I don't even need to be in lane anymore. Your lanes are gone, boys. Might see a rotation by him to top lane, and he might finish off the tower there as well. Fetty attack 786, just kinda not sure what to do here, I think. Maybe they're waiting to try and catch the broodmother, right? Said not be out, gonna be in trouble here. She it does have quite a few attacks. There is a heal as well. He's popped the out. There goes the AoE um, slow, but I mean one or two more um, brutal attacks and uh, it's gonna go down. He goes down in fact. No it's a damn damage yeah, dump on him and he is gonna be in trouble though. Obviously they can't see him. Invoker's here as well. And Slardar with the crush. Uh, but yeah, I mean I think he's gonna be quite happy with that. They're gonna surely get mid tire of this as well. Uh, nah, they don't quite get the mid tower, but everyone's here, so they might still be able to push in. Slider are going to try and do some uh, damage here, but if he pops a sprint, 
Um, the Zeus S bomb is gonna be real. They are healing this tower frontly, but I think they can take it. Trading one for one there with the Ursa down. Someone taking a little bit of uh, a little bit of spam damage. There. Amplified damage picked up by uh, I want to fuck fat girls as well. I'm back it off though. It seems waiting for the brood mother to spawn. Getting our cane boots is still on the good. Very uh, very good position for them here. Ape Lord Kingy uh, has That's picked up the burn and the drums of endurance. He's gonna be pretty tanky actually. Uh, Mama said knock you out. Uh, still working towards his Vlads and uh, we're 15 minutes in and no Vlads. We got Vlads up on I want to fuck that girls though. And uh, it looks like Armor Bed is going to pick up a Deso next. OCC obviously did pick up that Yules. Uh, maybe the next item for I want to fuck that girls is Blade Kill. Uh, and anyway, I could get a mech maybe. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. OCC working away at this tower. Um, they are going to see a rotation in though. Um, Bez is in behind him. He's going to be caught in a, between a, a, in a bit of a hard place here. We can't get the ult from uh, F Alex even once he comes out of this. We're going to get a rotation through from uh, Superfire Mixtape and he is dusted up but he managed to get the dust off. So Living Crush not going to find anyone. As expected, uh, Broodlord, Broodlord, Brood, well, we should call him Broodlord, I want to fuck cat girls uh, on the Broodmother has uh, rotated to top, he's going to try and push this tower and he is going to get rotated on here just now, but it's going to buy his team plenty of space um, to uh, maybe open up this uh, mid tower here. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack, Radiance middle tower is under attack. The split push is real in this game, and they are going to get the mid tower out of it. Some heals coming the way of the mid tower, but there is a rotation Gold around here. Sweet. I think just push it though and just take it. Radiance there we middle go. Middle out from uh, F Alex, and somebody is going to go down here, I expect, but it's going to be F Alex by the looks Radiance of it. Ah, uh, here they tower. come. They managed to get OCC with a slithering crash. It doesn't quite go down yet. That runic gets picked off here by the Ursa. And uh, Zeus is dominating the street, finding broken by F Alex. But I think worth Radiance it for that tower. tower is under Creating attack. all the space in the world for I want to fuck cat girls in the top lane. They're going to take the tier 2 there as well. Damn. Radiance top so tower from has that tower fallen. Going to I want to fuck cat girls as well. Dyer's middle tower try and take is this under tower attack. Um, there is Dyer's structures there. are uh, fortified. I'm not sure what they can do. Obviously, quite a few of their heroes are up. I mean, they may choose to split push bottom though uh, instead. Finally, the Vlad's finished on the Ursa. 17 minutes in. Dyer's middle tower right into has the back here. My and, uh, deepest. Still, guys. I mean, a, a good trade. You're going to trade Zeus and uh, Rubik and uh, Venge for a tier two tower. Uh, objectives win prizes in the doors. Once the amp damage comes, it's uh, it's a bit of a problem. I want to fuck cat girls rather than pushing the uh, tier three um, tower though. Choosing to rotate to mid on uh, all five of the uh, tech attack seven ships moving in as a group now. They do manage to pick off clinks, but more space created for the broodmother to work his magic across the map. Let's go get Roche, they say. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. What the fuck, Cat Girls just continues to uh, farm up Solar Crest now finished as well as the uh, as well as the Venge um, or we got a little bit of a crash here, guys. Just bear with me two seconds. Uh, it'll be two seconds.
So the, uh, the game continues then, having a quick look at the items that we've got up so far. Like I say, Brood and Mother are in a very commanding position at the moment. Damage amp is up on Zeus, uh, no new items actually finished up, so the, the deaths were almost finished on a Necro Loop, but picked up by Kingy. Strange item to pick up, obviously, but it does give him everything he needs, hit, hit points, mana, and also the all-important detection once he gets up to level 3. Finally as well, 18 minutes, 19 minutes in, Slardar picks up his Blink Dagger. That's going to make him a little bit more potent. Ah, uh, this ward being pinged out furiously. <coughs> Can you then, on the hunt for uh, Spider October. Let's see whether or not he is able to get him. Uh, the dust is there, but the web able to get him right out of trouble. And I think maybe it's time that you picked up some boots of travel there, I want to fuck cat girls, and just move around the Radiance map a little bit more effectively. Tower is under attack. You still have all your towers, though, except for the mid one. So, I mean, the split push is still very much viable at the moment, even without those uh, boots of travel. And two of the heroes from... Uh, Radiance Middle three Tower of the heroes, is under fact, attack. Of, uh, the yellow fellows pushing into mid here. No, who's this in purple? Mama said knock you out in the lane with I want to fuck cat girls. He doesn't have much webs here. Kingy, uh, the clink's even managing to get oh, his... Uh, managing to get his deso finished. Uh, he was only 300 gold off of it, and that's going to kind of uh, make him a lot more potent. Um, as far as the right click goes, and helps the team fight as well. Just Mama said knock you out with the blink dagger. Ready to ambush uh, I want to fuck cat girls here on the side. I think it's going to need help though. I'm not sure Dyer's if top it tower just is under himself. attack. The last hits wise. Oh, we're going to get a little bit of a push on top here. Uh, by Kingy. He's Dyer's be top to tower, tower is under himself. attack. Uh, Dyer's structures set you got going are on there, Kingy, by the way. See if he's got anything exciting on there. Uh, nope. Nope. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Oh, but look at that. That's a mighty gem indeed. But uh, Kingy just caught out by three, by the four. There's no hiding from fucking Zeus and his uh, lightning bolt. 887 kills, 175 a sunstrike kills, 12 first bloods, 54 victories, and 29 tornado kills on his invoker auspicious heavens piercing pauldrons. Bit of a problem then for Fetty Attack 786, and oh my god, would you look at this? The first Roshan of the Dyer's day bottom tower in, this, is under uh, in this match, even. Dyer's is gonna go by the way of I want to fuck cat girls on the boot mother. What are you playing at, Ursa? None the wiser either. I think these four here need to be pushing this tier Dyer's uh, three while this tower is under Dyer's bottom in. tower has fallen. Top, actually. Why are Dyer's these guys not doing anything up the top attack. here? This is a wasted opportunity, man. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Double damage! I'm gonna try and rotate now. Roshan has fallen to the Dyer. Dyer's bottom tower on, is under attack. Uh, Dyer, as well as the Aegis on, I want to fuck cat girls. And uh, immediately these guys are going to have to TP out there. They know that my brother is nearby. So who is this? It's Invoker. So we got Dust. We got Dust. Where's the Zeus boys? There is the Sentry Ward. But uh, Vengeful Spirit going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Our best pops out, but gets caught out by uh, the uh, finger of the... Uh, I want to fuck cat girls is in attendance. Zeus gonna pick up the kill on the Slardar. I want to fuck cat girls. Gonna take out the lion. Um, yeah, pretty good trade if you ask me. Uh, the clinks for those two, um, probably trades about even actually. If we have a little look here, um, gold 632 swing to the right. Uh, extra 600 XP swing as well. I want to fuck cat girls then, looking to push this wave in, gonna try and pick up the creep here, getting all the extra farm there, and if we look at the network, I think we're gonna find that this broodmother is actually in a really good position, along with the Zeus. 
Is this going to be the first win of the tournament for the Yellow Fellows? Huge response from uh, Fetty Attack 786. And uh, the dust there is on the team. I won't fuck that, girls. He's going to have to be careful. Of course, he does have the Aegis. Um, this card cannot be caught. The rest of his team needs to get there to help him out of this situation. He is going to be able to get back off into the boots here. The Amplified Damage is still on him. He's going to get caught out again. And this is really unfortunate for I want to fuck cat girls. He doesn't know which way to go. He does manage to dodge the tree and ult though. And he may get out of this with his, uh, with his ass attack. Mama said knock you out, gonna pick up I want to fuck fat girls on the Rubik. And uh, Blink Dagger gonna be a real problem for I want to fuck cat girls. And uh, he is actually going to be dying, unfortunately. Yeah. It's a bit, of a, a bit of a kill for the, uh, a bit of a pick up for the uh, Fetty Attack 786. Kind of uh, equalizing thing as far as kills go, but it looked like he bought out there, so not too much gold going the way. Oh, Jesus Christ. 1,529 actually for those doohedos there. Uh, minus 479. Um, Dominating. Oh, Mama said knock you out, also picking up the Ursa kill there. Uh, this is problematic for these guys. They're reaching 25 minutes and uh, not being able to break high ground. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Is there going to be a TP? There's plenty of TPs for bottom. Necro boot level 3 picked up and now this could be the beginning of the end for the yellow fellows Amabez and the, the brood mother both relying on Invis um, to get their work done here. And uh, if Invoker's there, it's going to be a problem. So Clink's back up, Zeus back up in four, uh, there is a Zeus out, and uh, I wonder if I want to fuck Cat Girls can find Invoker and take him out of the equation before he is able to fully utilize that Necro Boot. Would be helpful if Armored Bez was with him and a Dragon Lance actually picked up on Clink's there. It's an interesting pick up, interesting build, does give him a little bit of range but no kite ability for the Arsa. Kingy just gonna back off here a little, playing a little bit cautiously. I want to fuck fat girls, there is a couple damage in here, he's gonna want to deny that. Um, well denied. Uh, mech though finished for the tree and protector. And here we go, a huge attack on the uh, super fire mixtape. I want to fuck cat girls, gonna be in a little bit of trouble though. Uh, he is actually going to go down, it seems. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, he gets the four stop off, and he may well just to escape this. If there's no, uh, if there's no follow up with the uh, with Sunstrike, OCC picks off uh, uh, with the help of Armor Bez, and I want to fuck fat girls. Picks off the Invoker there. Lion also going down, and. Uh, so that evens things up again. Here comes uh, Mama said knock you out and uh, this could be a bit of a mistake. And there we go, we got a Yules on to him. He's gonna get control of another Yules on to Mama said knock you out. And here comes I want to uh, fuck cat girls. The Trient is here though, he is gonna be able to pop us out. The, uh, the um, uh, Bash uh, stops the TP out and it looks like Mama said knock you out is gonna go down here. This is brilliant. Like uh, OCC obviously can see the uh, the tree end if he spams his lightning bolt, and uh, yeah, another kill going the way of uh, the yellow fellows. Can they make anything of this though? We need to see boots of travel on this brood mother soon. It will allow them to break the base and uh, get some more shit done here. Kingy managing to maintain farm, Ursa managing to maintain farm, but other than that, these are the only two heroes in the top five for uh, the Radiant. Certainly, as far as farm goes, very much in the going the way of the Yellow Fellows for this game. What the fuck, cat girls? Now looking to take the ancient stack here. Regen rune on Zeus. Roche not up for another minute or two. Four staff onto Slardar now. Mm -hmm. Positional item. Four staff and the blink. Both 
games, I think, they're waiting for the roast before they do anything serious. What the fuck, cat girls? Using his webs just to farm these two camps very effectively. The next set of ancients will spawn probably just as he finishes this last wave here. Oh, he finishes it so fast, though. Two sets of broodlings, though, and uh, he is going to be able to wrap around behind Kingy here. Um, not going to be able to do much, though, without the uh, uh, backup of Zeus. And, oh, the Skull Bash Marcus gets him, catches him out. And a huge gold swing for uh, for the uh, brood there. 600 gold in his favor and 470 Radiance middle tower is over. under attack. Thomas said knock you out though. Picks up the Ursa. Uh, the Ursa picks up a kill on. Uh, ah, we'll see, see. He needs to be careful. He does get swapped out. It's not a great swap. Slardar finds him with the slithering crash. I think Good Mother just needs to ignore this though and push the tier 3. Radiance all four heroes on the, uh, on the, uh, the yellow fellows taken out of the equation. And uh, not enough damage getting down to this tower. I think you should have left the spiderlings there. I want to fuck cat girls. Oh, something not quite right there. He's not managed to go into this. He has been dusted up. And that really is unfortunate for the yellow uh, the yellow fellows. And all this without a Dyer's bottom on the tower Ursa. is under attack. Uh. them all in my wake. The Trian and the Ursa looking to... Dyer's middle tower is under attack. ...onto OCC. He's going to have to be careful. Three heroes from... Uh, Dyer's structures are fortified. Oh, guys, guys, Dyer's guys. middle tower is under attack. Here we go, Slimming Crush was some fire mistake. It's gonna take our um, uh, Jesus, so much damage on this there. Along with the alt from uh, the tree and protector. I want to fuck fat girls gets taken out by Ursa and this mid tower is gonna fall now. Another set of another uh, bad fight for the yellow fellows. Dyer's middle tower Just, has uh, fallen. Kind of turning this fight around, no problem at all in the last few minutes there, turning the whole thing around. Death, Link though manages to pick up Lion on the back there. Are they all out of dust? I think they might be, and there's no damage on A little bit of a misplay by Superfire Mixtape. And uh, Amorbez is able to get out of that. Um, when you really shouldn't have. Uh, Desolate though going on to. Oh, Amorbez with the blink from the Ursa. Gonna get blown up. I want to fuck Cat Girls is there. But uh, Superfire Mixtape and. Uh, Ursa also there. Someone with the swap though. Great swap there. They are going to try and push in on this tower. And uh, the fuck Cat Girls though. Really yeah. taking a lot of extra damage with the damage amp up there. And, uh, oh, it looks like uh, Rubik stole the tornado there, which was, uh, was pretty decent. There's an EMP though. Mama said, no, you right, going to come back in. And he is going to start messing with I want to fuck Fat Girls. But yes, I want to fuck Cat Girls. Comes in and blows that Ursa up. Um, fire, uh, 628 gold even going the way of Bend. And also the Slarder gets it blown up. One fuck fat, uh, Cat Girl's in a little bit of trouble here. He's going to have to uh, walk that off. Uh, he will regen in the web there. Dyer's top um, yeah, is a under nice attack. defense though by uh, the Yellow Fellows. And maybe they can uh, maybe they can get some more pick offs and counter attack here. Kingy continuing the push by himself with the Necro Boot. He does have F Alex in attendance. Not much F Alex can do at the moment. He does have two DVs and here comes Dyer's OCC. Dyer's top tower uh, is falling. And uh, I want to uh, fuck fuck girls looking for uh, looking for some kills. They've pulled the necro peeps off. And uh, Armor Bez is here. Ready to try for a kill on Vape Lord. The Orchid is so far away though. And he is going to need that to uh, solo pick off uh, the Invoker. We've got the uh, Nature's guys. But... Uh, Dust. Here comes the dust on uh, BNG and Armored is going to be in trouble now. He's not going to be able to get out of this. He's going to help from Zeus, but it's not going to come. And uh, I don't think it would have helped him out too much even if it had come. And it wasn't available anyway. So are we going to see another Roche from the Broodmother? Or... 
pool of Bissell Blade picked up on to uh, I want to fuck cat girls now. That hero is no joke at the moment. An orchid finished for Invoker. And uh, I don't know, I mean, these guys, uh, GG boots on the tree end. We got a uh, blink dagger, four staff on the lion. We got uh, illusion and necro boot three, as well as drums on the other side. Oh, slider looking for the kill here. I want to fuck fat girls in a little bit of trouble, but he has actually managed to get four staff up on the high ground. Tree and protector will throw down the heel onto super fire mixtape ban. Uh, it's going to be a difficult high ground push again, and also I want to fuck cat girls as a way down here in the road pit, picking up the road again. And a super fire mixtape just picked up. I uh, don't know what he was going to spend his game on there. Oh, I want to fuck fat girls in serious trouble here. The double blink from the uh, right click, uh, the right click brothers there, blowing them up. But yeah, Clinks finds him. Um, Finds the line on the back side of that first stop. It's not quite going to be enough, but he is going to get blown up. Uh, he is screwed on to I want to go to the cat girls. Goes to see in trouble now, though. He does force stop out of it, but Ursa just moves right clicks. Unstoppable. And again, the situation I want to fuck cat girls versus five, four, even. And uh, it's just not going to be enough to uh, take these guys out. He's going to get blown up. Dyer's middle barracks has fallen. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Ursa looking for the kill here. The amp damage is there, so he won't be able to hide, but he is able to get out, and they are going to just set Dyer's up for the barracks here. Has fallen. Maybe rotate to top and try and take something there. Slithering Crush. Link slithering Crush from Super Fire Mixtape. There is dust as well. F Alex is going to come in. Top and tower has uh, it's going to be problematic for them. They're going to lose Dyer's the second top set of racks here. Under attack. I think they might have missed their window. And that Ursa is really good at this point. There's the Abyssal Blade though. And we're going to have a little bit of a munch on Mama said no QI. He does have the down his block. Super Fire Mixtape comes in with the uh, Slithering Crush Blink. OCC is here. There was an out Radiant's used by the Shea Protector. And I think it's getting really quite desperate for uh, the Yellow Fellows now. All the ults are down though on, uh, on the side top of Fetia Dark 76. And Volker went down there as well. And uh, we, need to, uh, we need to see them get two or three kills here and then actually go for throwing um, if they want to uh, if they want to this game. Oh, I want to fuck Cat Girls gets blown up by uh, this bunch of people right here. I want to fuck Cat Girls going in. Um, I mean, it's pretty clear where he is, obviously, with the Leech Seed on him. Uh, Deso now also picked up on Invoker. How far is Clinks away from that? Um, Dyer's middle tower that is under orchid. attack. Um, so close, actually. Only 600 gold away. Solar Crest as well, picked up on the uh, Slardar now. There's the Orchid on Clinks as well. Um, like I say, they're going to have to look for this final team fight. Oh, Abyssal Blade picked up on Ursa. It's not looking good, guys. I think uh, they should have broken high ground uh, when they had the opportunity, um, but they just couldn't find that opening to, uh, to get that tower. Um, it's, a, it's a shame. Maybe if Clinks had gone with the Broodmother a few of those times, um, that would have weakened them elsewhere, but they may have been able to take some rats. Um, the yellow, uh, the Fetty attack 786 to stay on the defensive. Money changes hands. Armor Bears need to be careful here. He is looking for VNG once again with an easy pick off. Let's have a little look and see the graphs then. I expect you to see a large swing here. Um, up and down, up and down, um, and then finally, that's a 10k swing in the last 10 minutes. They find their form, uh, Rubik getting picked off by a little bit. Clink's picking Fire up the line. Fire grows hungrier the more it's fed. Jesus, he's so fast with, uh, with the uh, points he's got in uh, Wex there. Um, just allowing him to uh, run around like a little maniac while I'm Viz. Um, 
quite a few earn charges as well. We look at the XB swing as well. That's a 15k XB swing to go along with the, uh, sorry, 15k gold swing to go along with the 10k XB swing. And, uh, oh, King Dyer's bottom tower and, is under attack. I mean, Dyer's structures like are fortified. Of, uh, I quite like a pickup of. Um, the necro geek on, on brood. Dyer's so bottom tower he's gone is under the attack. Of the instead, and it, it might cost them. <laughs> Solar crest though, evasion. Uh, this chance 25% plus this chance. It's blown up so fast. Bruce is spawning here, and look at this from Rubik. He uses the uh, ult against uh, uh, the ult against. The ult against the <laughs> Zeus blows up to the fire and stays going through. Ah, Ursa does have his ult, they're gonna use their Yules to try and uh, contain him. Yep, he's been contained and now they need to, uh, now they need to blast him down uh, with the uh, follow-up damage, but I don't know if they're gonna be able to find him. Yeah, they're looking for Kingy again. Uh, can he dust around like that yet? Yeah, still no dust. And uh, uh, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. So I mean, item-wise, um, wait a minute. Uh, did he manage to break apart? Part you can break apart the abyssal later on, right? Uh, did he break apart the abyssal? Like I know you can break it apart just after you build it, but after a while you can't break it apart anymore, and he certainly used it, so. What the hell happened there? Obviously he used the um obviously he used the relic to build a radiance, but I wasn't aware you could disassemble that skull basher uh, abyssal blade much later on. That's curious, maybe they've changed it in a patch or something. <laughs> Okay, let's have a quick rundown of the items there. It looks like we are going to go for a Scythe of Vice on the Tree of Detector. We already have a Scythe of Vice up on Mama Said Knock You Out. Alright. Uh, plus the Abyssal Blade. A lot of lockdown there. Uh, Glimmer Cape for the line. Uh, blade Mill up on Superfire Mixtape. Um, Skull Basher just on I Want to Fuck Cat Girls. And he is actually leading as far as farm and uh, levels go. In fact, he's not winning on farm anymore, like I say. Something fishy happening with his items. Um, yeah, they're trying to ping him out, but where is he? We don't know where he is. Oh, well, you know, his Radiance Burn should be finding us. And uh, here come the Necro Boots, though. Uh, will they find him in the woods here? I don't think they will. Good positioning by I want to fuck cat girls. And uh, I'm a bet. Is he going to get down here as well? And uh, boost the speed wave down a little bit, maybe. Could be a sweet opportunity for clinks on oh no he's been caught by the group so he's gonna get blown up and uh, I want the fat cat girls also gonna get spotted out um fairly soon I think. Oh dear. Like I say this window the farm is getting huge on the uh, I really wanna know what happened with uh, the brood mother there. Did he settle the abyssal blade by the skull basher? <laughs> or sell the abyssal blade, finish up radiance, and then rebuy the skull basher? I'm not sure. Uh, certainly a bit of a misplay. I want to fuck that girl. It's in a little bit of trouble now. The dust does pick him up. Here comes uh, the super fat state volume 4. And uh, we've also got Lion in the or a VNG. And we got Mama said, knock out. He is going to die. Um, positionally, I, I was born to war. You know, Together, you we'll died to it. Um, messing around with these five heroes with so many of them with dust and blinks. Uh, not a great idea. And here they go. They're going to try and take this last set of racks. Obviously, they still have one Brax to the top there. This is the last real tower, the last real team. Oh, 
Dyer's top barracks has fallen. Game by Yellow Dyer's bottom barracks are under attack. Minutes, Dyer's uh, bottom barracks. Uh, uh, Dyer's I'm bottom mean, barracks has fallen. The Radiant now have mega games. I want to fuck that. Dyer's middle really tower is under attack. Coming into his own in this game and including uh, a commanding performance there. They just weren't able to capitalize on this early game success. We just kind of left them a little bit too much space. They weren't able Dyer's to do that. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. 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 This particular set. There we go, the GG called by. I want to fuck, 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 fuck. Triple kill! And, um, Dyer's uh, yellow fellows is under set, attack. Uh, Radiant uh, victory. Fetty attack. 786 picking up three uh, three points there. But a new found set, uh, a, a new uh, respect for the yellow fellows. A really great performance put up by them. Like I say, they just couldn't capitalize on that early game success. And they've taken that 18 minute GG and they've turned it into a 44 minute GG. Really well played, guys. Commiserations. Good luck in your next match.